In today's episode of Get Inspired with Jason, the podcast and YouTube show, we're gonna be talking about people that are failing at keeping results, whether it's results in their body, their partners, the man and woman of their dreams saying, wow, I finally got my partner. I finally got the body I desired, but why can't I keep them? Stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this one. So whether this applies to you or someone you know, I really need you to understand and dig deep with me again. As always, ask yourself whether you've worked really hard, right? Whether it's on your body or yourself, mentally, physically, whatever it is, and getting to a point where you look phenomenal. You've worked really hard on your eating habits, your working out habits, and you look amazing. Or say, you know, like I said, like I say with all my clients, whether you're meditating, you're journaling, your emotions, your mindset is just right, right? And say you're single and you were working really hard on yourself and you finally met the woman or man of your dreams. But what's the commonalities when all, with all this? It comes down to getting the body, right? Or getting the partner that you desire, but how can you keep them? A lot of people fail at keeping relationships as a whole, relationships with their body. Let me start from the top. most people fail at keeping up with relationships that's just the honest truth not all but a good percentage the highest percentage of people in the universe are failing at relationships staying consistent with them why do people fail right at keeping the results results with your body results with yourself relationships right If you worked really hard at any goal, think of any goal in your past that you're saying, man, you know what? I did it, right? And you thrived. But if you're currently not thriving as well, you gave up. And this is why most people fail at keeping the results. Again, I say whether it's results with your body, say you worked really hard eating well, training right, and you got to a physical point where you're like, oh my God, or say, You worked on a lot of, say, my journaling uh, programs, meditations, and I got your mind right, your body tight, right? Or your relationship with people as a whole and the new boyfriend, the new girlfriend that you have, or your husband, your wife. You did it, right? You obtained it. How awesome is that feeling? But do you still have that feeling, right? Do you still have that awesome body that you once had, right? Because you achieved it. You worked hard. Do you still have that thriving relationship with food, your partners, your boss, your employees? If you answered no, that's okay. Because most people fail at keeping up with relationships and most importantly, results. Now, how do we change that? Because I can sit here all day and tell you firsthand for 20 plus years, I was failing my relationships with my food, people, and myself all the time. I would lose weight for a period and then what do I do? I gain it and some back. I would start dating a girl, everything's great because I put all my energy into it. Then a few months later, I get complacent, right? And lazy and then she starts bitching at me and saying, oh my, I'm like, oh my God. Why? Because I'm not putting as much love and attention. So here's the deal. I know I'm gonna make this very short, sweet to the point because you deserve to really rock it and to not become complacent anymore. Number one, you gotta make sure that if you chose to do something that you stick with it. This is your new lifestyle, right? And a lot of people, especially when they come to me, whether it's online or TV, people that wanna lose weight or get better relationships with themselves, positive daily habits, self-care. I ask them, is this a long-term goal or is this a short-term goal? Meaning, do you wanna and they interrupt me right away, the ones that fail. Oh, no, no, I got a wedding coming up and you know I wanna get ready, X, Y, Z. Or, you know what, I'm sick of being fat and I wanna start going out on dates and then you know I, I'm willing to quit alcohol for three months and this, that, and super strict. I'm like, but see, that's not developing and creating a new lifestyle. That's putting a band-aid on things, right? That's like people that go in for, whether it's Botox, more power to you, all right? I've done it here and there. Uh, you wanna get, uh, uh, 
a, a, a tummy tuck, lipo. Oh, and, and I'm not suggesting that. Never have, never will. Uh, I, I refuse to. But here's the deal. Instant gratification, you can't do it. It doesn't last long, right? That's like, how would you feel? And maybe you've gone through this. You get in super good shape. And you start getting all this attention, you start getting all this love, you find the man, woman of your dreams, right? Or the job of your dreams. And then what, what do you do then, right? Are you gonna be like most people and fail? Meaning you obtained it, but you can't keep it, right? If you're gonna do things, right? Maybe this is just a wake up call or a reminder, right? Make sure you're doing it with the right intentions for the long haul. Because if you're not, I reassure you that nothing's going to last right and nothing lasts forever i get it right we all age but i can tell you right now i have clients up to 82 years old that i have worked with and let me tell you something they're in better shape than the average 35 year old right because the difference is they made it a lifestyle they said i am not going to settle anymore i'm going to thrive each and every day so if you're looking for quick solutions and quick uh, tidbats, this, that, you know, like what you see on TV. Oh, uh, try this for 30 days and lose 30 pounds. It ain't gonna last. So my recommendation to you, all right, whether this is a reminder, a wake up call, whatever you wanna call it, make sure that whatever you start and finish, it is something that you can keep up with, which is why I don't believe none of my programs, for example, none of my fitness programs, wellness, food programs, they're not super strict, right? Results are slowly and gradually working for you so you could create and develop this lifestyle. And this is what I want to really stick into your head, right? Don't get into a particular shape to just say, oh, I did it, if you're not gonna be able to keep up with it. You know how many people I see, whether it's at gyms, this and that, they got these huge muscles, right? Sometimes way bigger than mine because they're on steroids or whatever. And they worked really hard. And then six, seven months later, I see them, they're fat or skinny again. And I'm like, what was the point of that? Like, okay, you, you did it. That's like having a poster of a magazine, you know, saying, oh, I did that. Okay, you did it. But look at you now, right? Are you ever seen a trainer? He might be really knowledgeable and I'm not taking nobody away. And, 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 and look, this is an exception. Say they've had an accident or they broke their back and obviously they can't control it. But if they're in good shape and they let themselves go, well, why would you want to be taught by them, right? So always think about these things, and I hope this is really clicking in your head, whether, again, whether it's the type of food lifestyle you're having, whether it's the type of fitness programs, whether it's the type of relationships that you're having and habits that you're cultivating and creating, right? Whether you're being coached one-on-one -on -one with me already, and you're one of my clients, because I work with clients globally on the phone or Zoom, or you're working with somebody else. This is something that I wanted to pass on to you because I promise you, if you really do this for the long haul, you will keep and maintain the results, right? And if you don't, well, you're gonna be like most of society. What could I say? Well, what did I say? People that start get the results, but they can't keep them, right? Well, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Please, as always, keep that mind right, body tight. If you have any questions, let me know. I would love to hear from you, and I'll see you on the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer, and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle, and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.